If video is part of your marketing strategy like it is for me, you've pondered, are we spending our video production budgets the right way? I think keeping the goal in mind is crucial, whether it's brand awareness, sales conversion, or audience engagement. Often costs are scaled on the wrong area because the goal is forgotten. Just because you're spending more doesn't mean you're making a bigger splash. And what I see is businesses actually devoting their video production budget to the wrong areas. It's a lot of focus on professionalism rather than what's actually going to interest your client. Take Alex Ramosi for example. His initial videos started in a room, then they moved to a fancy studio, and finally, a house. I was always curious about this circuitous evolution, and Alex actually addresses it in an interview. He points out that nobody really cared about how professional the setting was. He only realized this after spending a lot of money on a studio. Which then taught me that what's inside the content matters more than the wrapper. So for anybody who's like worried about getting started, about making it look right, I don't think it matters. What mattered more was the content and how it was connected with the audience. So what changed? Alex still spends around $500,000 a month, probably more now, on more content, more distribution, and better editing. His team's editing style is one of the most recognizable out there. So if you're a company, pay to make your videos more engaging, not just more professional. Start small, even a phone or a microphone can do wonders. And about editing, either invest time to learn it yourself or have someone proficient. Your return on investment will thank you later. So next time you allocate that video production budget, think twice about where it's going and why. If you think tips like this could help you, we actually have a newsletter full of them. Just subscribe down below to the link in the comments.